How are you guys? Welcome back. Um, I recently got some stuff from Sephora and Ulta, so I just wanted to share a couple things that I got. Did like a little mini haul, and some of these things are repurchases, and some of them are products I'm trying for the first time. So the first thing is this pharmacy um, cheer up. It's a vitamin C eye cream. And I liked the sound of this because for one, it's in the Sephora clean beauty section. So lately I've been trying to, you know, slowly but surely move over all the products, cleaning products, all that stuff to like clean or at least more on the non-toxic side. And it's really hard because I mean, it's like starting all over with finding things that you like, things that work for you your favorites, all that stuff. So it's definitely been a long journey so far. And what sparked all this was when I was pregnant with my daughter. Obviously, you want to use like the cleanest stuff and all that stuff. So I um, was all constantly like Googling and researching um, ingredients, products and stuff like that. And I mean, you're just like shocked at what you find. It's insane. So um, this, like I said, was on the clean, um, category or section on Sephora's website. And so, like I said, it's called the Cheer Up. It's a brightening vitamin C eye serum. So it's supposed to like obviously hydrate and brighten under your eyes, which I've been feeling like lately, my under eyes are like in the corners here or like really dark. And I know that could be just from like thin skin and there's that's not going to fix that if that's what it's from but you know also mom life so we'll see and I'll let you guys know um you know if I notice any difference as far as that goes and I'm sure it's gonna be great as far as hydrating and I definitely feel like with that skin being so like thin and delicate it's a good idea to take extra care the next thing that I saw that was definitely something that I always need is a lip balm. So I got the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. And this is another thing that's a, a clean product at Sephora. And I heard really good reviews on it. Some people, um, I had seen it in a couple of videos and they said that they really liked it and it really helps like dry chapped lips, which I swear no matter what I use on my lips, they're dry and chapped. They're like peely and sometimes I can't even wear like um lipstick or lip liner especially sometimes liquid lipstick because it's just so my lips are so dry it just looks terrible so and even sometimes with lip gloss some lip glosses if they have like a little bit of a pigment in there it settles into all the fine lines and all the wrinkles and just looks so gross so i'll just end up taking it off so i'm excited to try that and hopefully it works um okay so the next thing is from Bite Beauty also, well it's bright. So Bite Beauty, and it's the Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. Before I bought this, I didn't see or hear of anybody talking about it really. This is um, like a clean foundation and that's been really hard to find, is a good one that is like high end and clean. So we'll see, hopefully, um, that makes a little bit of a difference on like texture and all that stuff, you know? Um, the next thing that I got, okay, so those three things were from Sephora. This was from Ulta and this is not um, like clean beauty, but it's a uh, Morphe, I almost said Sephora, Morphe um, eyebrow pencil and it's like the little, oh, tiny, so kind of like the brow whiz. And I really love these little tiny pencils for cleaning up the line on the bottom and the top of my eyebrow. I don't do my whole brow with this, um, but I do think these are really good to like clean up the lines. And my eyebrows are really sparse, so I go in with the brow pomade, I believe it's called, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I fill in the whole brow with that. Then I go through with this and kind of whatever sparse, like kind of see-through spots. I'll go in with that and kind of even it out. And it, I love those. They work so good for me. 
This is also from Ulta and it's not clean either, but this is like the best eyelash glue ever. I used to use the Ardell like glue that's in a tube, like a white tube. And that one, um, out of nowhere, I used it for a long time. And then out of nowhere, my eyelids got really puffy and like on the lash line, they got really puffy and they like burned almost. So I'm assuming that was like an allergic reaction. And so I just like quit using it right away because <clears throat> it was not comfortable. And it was really weird that it was just, like I said, out of nowhere, all of a sudden it's like, boom, my eyes were just like not having it. So, and I wear eyelashes pretty much every day. Every day that I get ready, I pretty much wear them unless I'm just like running a few little fast errands, but I use it quite a bit. So, okay, this is also from Ulta and I already used this because I ran out and I was like, no. So it's the Tarte Shape Tape, holy grail product for a lot of people. I don't really think I need to talk too much about it. Oh, but so some of the shades I got, I forgot to tell you that, was Light Sand in this on the Bite Beauty um, foundation. I got L25 and the Morphe Pencil. Um, it doesn't say, but I, I want to say, oh, Java. I was going to say, I think it was called Java, but yeah, Java. And then last but not least, I restocked on this Drunk Elephant Makeup Remover Balm. And um, like I said, I've had this before and I loved it so much. This little extra um, doodad in there. And this is like a um, bamboo booster exfoliant. So what you do with this is you get a little bit of the um, balm and then you put it in your like hands or on your fingers or whatever and then you add this to it and then you can remove the makeup that's on your face. Obviously like do not use it on your eyes. If I use that first, I get the balm and I clean off all my eye makeup. Once that's completely gone and I'm not gonna have to go back over my eyes, I will use the balm and um, the little exfoliant stuff and then go over my the rest of my face. Um, and it leaves your face feeling really like exfoliated, but without overdoing it. And it feels so soft. Like it's just so like supple, you know? So I really love this stuff. I ran out of it and I went to Sephora to get it to like buy another one and they were completely out. So then I was like, oh man, I had to wait. And I was going to order it online. And then I was like, well, I'll just wait for it to come back in line. And I was missing it so much. So then I finally just ordered it online because I couldn't live without it. So that's it for this little mini haul. Um, I love doing like obviously hauls on my channel. So um, any excuse I have to show you guys the goodies, um, I love to do that. If you guys have any questions about anything that I purchased, definitely leave it in the comments below. And um, I'll see you guys next time.